okay basketball families let's discuss the bumper to bumper basketball iq curriculum and i want to focus on parents initially what happens on day one on day one you and your child will take an online hoop skills iq initial assessment in your case this initial assessment that you and your child are about to take will act as your initial assessment so we can move forward designing your customized material. Okay, basketball parents, what will you learn doing the hoop skills, IQ questions and assessments? We're gonna start with the basic basketball rules. Then we're gonna talk about basic basketball positions the different areas on the court, and we're gonna talk briefly about the responsibilities of each position. I wanna start to teach you what's going on on the basketball court and want you to recognize and understand the position your athlete plays. We're gonna talk about the position your child plays, power forward, point guard, center, shooting guard. Take a look at the floor and we're gonna to start to identify the positions and teach you more and more about that position. We're gonna to start to teach you the different areas on the court, the wing, high post, top of the key, and so forth, because we want you to recognize these positions, mainly so that you can enjoy the game more and understand what coach is talking about. After you're comfortable with the basic positions and areas on the court, then we're going to move into different positions and the responsibilities of those positions. For example, the point guard, his responsibility is to handle the rock and set the offense. He has to make good decisions with the ball. OK, that's hoop skills IQ. Shooting guards have to be good long range shooters. They have to be able to create their own shot. That is also hoop skills IQ and they're the secondary ball handler. That's just an example of how we're gonna teach you the different positions and more about the position your athlete plays. One of our goals with this platform is to help parents understand what your child is thinking on the basketball court. I want you to understand why we move the way we do, uh, why we run to certain areas on the court, and why does it seem like a track meet when you're watching your child play? We're going to focus on slowing the game down. That simply means the more we can teach you and your child, the slower the game will become, the more fun you'll have, and the better your child will be. Then, you and your child will receive custom learning videos based on your level. Also, in day one, we're going to start to send you customized learning material. I'm going to send you at least four videos a day for five days. And when one exercise is complete, you'll receive more learning material. Of course, all these videos will have um, explanations to the questions and answers. And of course, we have a great tracking system. I'll be able to see everything you or your child is doing. This system will allow athletes and family members to grow at their own pace. However, always remember, no assistance when you're taking these assessments. Think about it. If someone is helping you, you're helping your child or your child is helping you, then I'm going to be sending the wrong information to the wrong person. So it's just going to hinder your progress. You may get frustrated. When that happens, nobody wins. Okay, so just have fun and don't worry about incorrect answers. These are all just building blocks to help me provide the proper material. Okay, then we move on to day two in the curriculum. Day two, of course, you're going to continue to receive more learning videos, videos that you can access at your convenience and continue learning. Again, that means you can access this during non-practice days access in the car going to and from basketball practice that's why we call it bumper to bumper right you can do this at your convenience no excuses we can get it in if you want to learn i'll 
I'll be here to teach you. Day three. Day three is when we bring everything that we've been talking about thus far and we take a mid-assessment. During this mid-assessment, I'm going to, of course, track your progress. Then I'll make adjustments as needed as I see how you are grasping the material. So whether you are a parent or a youth, that is what we'll do with the mid-assessment. Okay, so in day four, you're going to receive learning material based on your responses. Okay, you've been giving me responses all throughout your initial assessment, material in between, and of course the mid-assessment. And when we're doing all of this, remember, this is not a cookie-cutter program. Okay, bumper to bumper, day five. Day five is the best day. This is the day that we combine your initial your mid-assessment, your questions, your answers. Uh, we're drawing from other people's questions and answers and so forth. And we focus on the weak areas. And this is how we continue to provide you with learning opportunities because these opportunities will grow right along with you at your level and at your pace. So you should be a stronger basketball family now. Let's keep it moving. Stay on this platform. I would love to continue to share my knowledge with you. For now, this is just a breakdown of our online five-day extended learning curriculum. Of course, we have more. We're going to continue to provide you with the material you need to continue to increase your family's basketball IQ. So for now, let's go ahead and get pre-enrolled in our bumper-to-bumper -bumper basketball IQ. See you on the platform. Thank you.